Good evening, we are here in uh, Horse Cave, Kentucky. Horse Cave, Kentucky. Those don't seem like words that go together, but they are. It's a really beautiful area, um, stunning area, and um, just an incredible day for me as a, as a bike rider, for me as a, a, a morning grieving father, for me as a pediatric cancer advocate, uh, for me as a dude who has been sick for the past few days, and, and today was the day where the scale started turning back in my favor, uh, and the scenery today um, was just stunning. You know, Kentucky, I think, is, a, is, is misunderstood in many places in this country, in the bigger cities, and I think, um, by the way, so is Milwaukee, and so is the state of Wisconsin where I'm from, so like, I get it. Like, people don't know how beautiful these places are, and they tend to make fun of them for, you know, for, for this or for that. And um, what we saw today was no less than 50 Civil War uh, historical markers. I mean, there was one cemetery we went by, there were like eight of them. It was incredible. Um, we went by a building not far from here that is, Henry Clay did something in this building. Like, it's just like incredible. Uh, you know, the Civil War uh, was a sad war in the, uh, all wars sad. The Civil War was a sad war in the history of wars. Um, I think it was also a necessary war in the uh, history of this country. Um, but what I do know is that it happened. And uh, where we are right now was, was literally like the, the, the uh, fulcrum of the entire war. We were sort of right in between the Union uh, North and the Confederate South. And we're right in the sort of the axis right here. And um, you can feel it. And it just things feel different here. Uh, it doesn't feel like any other state I've ever been to. And it's just long, beautiful, rolling roads. We're definitely in the, in the horse country. You know, keep in mind that the, uh, the, the famous racetrack in, in Louisville, this is definitely from here to West Virginia. This is all stuff that um, the original, um, the original, I guess we call them the forefathers. This is where all these dudes were. Um, obviously, Abe Lincoln was born right near where we are. This is, there's like Abe Lincoln stuff everywhere. I think this is the actual area where he, um, where he, somewhere around Elizabethtown, Kentucky, where our mechanic uh, Chad's grandfather lives, where, where we visited today. Somewhere around there is where Abe Lincoln actually uh, did his homework on the back of a coal shovel, as we all learned in grade school. Um, so anyway, just fascinating stuff. and. Um, you know, we're fighting a different war out here on Pablo across America. Some people do not like the, the, the battle, the fighting, the war metaphors and imagery that are bandied about with, with cancer. Um, Joanne actually told me a few weeks ago that she's, she's sort of sick of hearing that stuff. Um, I'm, I'm not quite there yet. Um, so I'm going to say that we're fighting a different kind of a battle here. And as we roll by all these war uh, field historical markers, and, and there's so many of them you can't even keep track of it. Um, I'm reminded that we're riding, you know, horses that are made of carbon. Uh, bon Jovi talked about riding steel horses, which I guess are uh, motorcycles, and uh, that's just a little nerdy music fact there, incidentally. Um, but we're doing something that people who are in like a cavalry um, regiment are doing. You know, we're riding with purpose. We're, we're, we're going from place to place carrying a message. And um, it's serious business. Instead of inflicting pain on people like they do in, a, in an actual war, we're actually trying to save people's lives so that they're not in pain. Um, of course, Riding through this part of the country, we, we, we rode by many, many, many cemeteries today. I mean, I, I, there were probably 20 cemeteries that we rode by today. Uh, and, and, and so the, the, um, the topic of, of death and dying and, and passing on and, and how, we, how we celebrate and how we, 
how we mark the, 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 the grave or the resting place for the physical bodies of people uh, has been on my mind a lot. And sometimes I have to turn my head because, um, you know, it's sad to me. It's just sad to me. And sometimes I can look straight into those graveyards and go like, you know, all these people live and all these people made their mark out in the world somehow. And they all had kids and those kids had kids. And maybe, you know, one of their, one of their descendants is driving by us in a car right now. Um, of course, at night on Pablo Across America, we dedicate our resting hours to a child who, um, who, who, uh, like so many of these Civil War uh, people I'm talking about, um, died. Uh, we, we dedicate our resting hours to a child who fought on the front lines of cancer and who did not make it. And um, tonight we are dedicating our resting hours to a little boy named Michael McBride who had stage 3 Wilms tumor. And um, he passed away this summer on June 13th. very significant time frame for, for us, for Joanne and I, and for Pop Love, and for all of our people, you. Papa was born on June 21st, he passed away on June 27th. Um, Michael um, was able to um, spend four days on his Make-A-Wish trip, and he was, uh, his, his, his body was giving out on him, and uh, he had to be medevaced back home to spend his final days at home. And uh, he loved riding around on his motocross bike with his brother Parker. Um, I, I say this all the time, he was like a little dude. He did everything that a kid was supposed to do. And, and then uh, this, this, uh, these disruptive, discordant cells inside of his body got the best of his body. And, then stopped his body from working. And uh, I know all too much about that. And I, um, from the bottom of my heart, uh, am, am saying to Michael's uh, family that we love you, we care about you. We are honoring your son, we are honoring you, um, and both in this video and, and in our work out on our bikes, it was a very sad day at Pablo Foundation offices when Michael passed away. Um, we uh, get very tied to families and to children. And Joanne and Megan and Jennifer and the other folks at the office um, develop very deep relationships. I develop very deep relationships, um, sometimes with different people. We just, you know, we, we connect with people in different ways. And uh, we, um, we are very lucky to be out here doing what we're doing. And we wish that there was no such thing as pediatric cancer or cancer of any type. Um, but we are out here and one of the things we do is we plant flags along the way three times a day. And tonight, um, Michael McBride is our, is our boy. And uh, like my son Pablo, uh, he, he uh, died at six years old. And uh, I'm gonna go to sleep right now and I'm gonna rest my body so I can get up tomorrow and uh, hold Michael in my heart as we pedal our way toward Nashville and as we dedicate uh, our ride in the morning to another uh, child, it might be a group of kids tomorrow uh, who, are, who are currently fighting cancer. There's a cycle here. There's the kids who are fighting cancer, there's the kids who are past treatment or off treatment who have no evidence of disease and then there are the kids um, who haven't made it and they're all equally important to us. So, I wish you a good night. Pablo Across America 2011. It is day 12 uh, of 21. So we are, we are tomorrow, uh, we are officially, you know, on the downward slope toward the end of our ride in New Orleans. We'll see you soon.